Hello everyone and welcome to Thailand Unplugged. Let's have a quick look at some of the news we got coming up today. Prime Minister of Thailand Priyat Chinacha vows justice over the Red Bull Air's charges being dropped, which has infuriated all of Thailand. And a wonderful story from Vietjet, a surprise concert in the sky from Ying Li. She's a very popular Thai singer. India's subtle warning to China after receiving the new jet fighters from France. Hello, I'm Stephen Clark, bringing you the latest news from Southeast Asia and the wonderful land of smiles, Thailand. Those and many other stories coming up. Thai Prime Minister Priya Chinacha promises justice over the Red Bull Air's all charges of the 2012 hit-and-run accident that were dropped during the week. Bangkok. Thailand's Prime Minister Priya Chinacha said today his government would ensure justice prevailed over the deadly 2012 hit-and-run linked to the air of the Red Bull energy drink Fortune amid public anger over the dropping of the charges against him. Prime Minister Priya Chinacha offers said Sunday that the news of the dropped case made him uncomfortable and stressed that he had never granted personal favours. The decision to drop the charges against Voriat Yavitna, commonly known as the boss, has stirred up public anger about the country's entrenched culture of impunity for rich and the well-connected. The Office of Attorney General and the National Police dropped criminal charges against Varyat Yavitnya, or the boss if you like, last month, without providing a reason, stirring up public outrage about Thailand's entrenched culture of impunity for the rich and the well-connected. The boss had missed eight summonses to appear in court in connection with the killing of a policeman whose body was dragged for dozens of metres under a Ferrari sports car owned by the boss. Authorities issued a warrant for his arrest after the incident, and the boss later left the country. His current whereabouts is unknown. Thailand's Prime Minister Priyat Chinacha said a committee had been formed to look at what led to the case being dropped, but it would not interfere in the work of the Attorney General's police and court. The committee has 30 days to complete its task. This case is of great interest to the Thai people and the society, so we must find the truth to see where the problems are, he said. We must fix these problems to ensure justice in Thai society without dividing it along social class lines, he said. It's quite simple, Priyat Chinacha, Prime Minister of Thailand, put him in jail. He ran over a policeman and dragged him along the street and then tried to get away with it. All Thai nationals all over Thailand are furious about the charges being dropped. So is there two laws in Thailand? One for the rich and one for the poor? Put him in jail where he belongs. Go and catch him and put him in jail. Thai Vietjet today launched its maiden flight from Bangkok's Winapum Airport to the northeastern province of Konken. To celebrate the inauguration flight, the airline delivered a surprising concert in the sky with famous Thai singer Ying Li. <laughs> yes, the one that sung that song, the one you can't get out of your head. Featuring a full team of dancers and cabin crew, along with souvenirs for all passengers, the courier will operate two flights daily in the new route, which marks a seventh from Sawinapum hub, with a flight duration of around an hour and five minutes. The airline has also launched a massive promotion of one-way fares from just five baht, not inclusive of taxes and fees, from August the 1st to the 5th. Promotion tickets can be used on all domestic flights of Thai Vietjet, travelling between the 1st of August and September the 30th. What a great way to fly, and, and Ying Li is the um, entertainment. Wow, very famous singer in Thailand.
India warns China after receiving its new fighter jet from France. India acknowledges it is behind China and other key nations in military firepower, and the purchase of the Rafael jet is one of many made in a bid to bolster its 1.4 million strong army. The first five Rafael jets bought from France in a multi-million dollar deal landed in India on Wednesday, and the Defence Ministry used their arrival to launch a valid warning to the neighbouring China over territorial tensions. An intense nationwide spotlight on the combat jet has been sharpened by a deadly border standoff with China. India has bought 36 Rafale fighters from France in a deal estimated to be worth 9.5 billion. All are scheduled to be delivered by the end of 2021, the Indian Defence Minister said. The combat jet's arrival marked the beginning of a new era in our military history. So how does the Indian's new Rafael fighter hold up against the Chinese jet fighters? India's Rafael jet fighters main contender in the Chinese Air Force would be, if produced and operationalised, the Shenzhang J-31. Both are highly rated by the Chinese media and pitched off as a 5th generation stealth fighter against Rafael's 4.5 generation lineage. That having been said, the Chinese fighter capabilities are only on paper. Much of them are yet to be demonstrated or proven. Just to clear the air around stealth, absolute all aspects of stealth is a myth, at least as of now. Jet fighters claiming stealth are actually low observables, depending on their aspect, the way they look to the enemy's sensors, never visible from all directions. The Indian Air Force has been known to pick up Chinese J-20s on their Su-30 radars. So the Chinese J-20s might find the Raphael jet fighter a bit of a surprise. China conducts military drills in the South China Sea. Beijing, July the 30th. Beijing recently conducted high-intensity Navy exercises in the South China Sea. Chinese Defense Minister said today, as tension grew over the Asian powers maneuvering in the South China Sea waters, China's expanding military presence in the region has worried several of its neighbors, while the US has vowed to stand up against Beijing's territorial claims to much of the South China Sea, including the contested Parcel Islands. China's H-6G and H-6J jet bombers carried out high-intensity training and completed a day and night training exercise in taking off and landing. Long-range assaults, attack on sea targets, Defence Ministry spokesman Ren Chongjing said at a virtual press conference today. Ren said the exercises were part of routine training and had achieved the expected results without giving their specific location. China, which is locked in disputes with its neighbours including India, Japan, Vietnam over islands in the South China Sea, has infuriated other nations by building artificial islands with military installations in parts of the sea and in parts of their neighbours' territory, and insist upon peaceful dialogue with their neighbouring countries, as long as they accept China's annexing of their territories. And if they don't, well, they're troublemakers. The Philippines confirms nearly 4,000 new Chinese coronavirus cases, the highest single-day increase. Manila, July the 30th, the Philippines government's Chinese coronavirus task force confirmed that 3,950 new infections today, the country's largest single-day increase in new coronavirus cases. The country's largest single-day increase in the new Chinese coronavirus cases. The information on surge in infections which was a sharp increase from the record 2,539 cases confirmed on July the 8th, was mentioned in a regular circulation issued by the Interior Agency Task Force. The Health Ministry was expected to release further details today.
Thailand opens 11 prisons for tourists to have a look or a visit if you like. Some suck sap so thin. The Justice Minister from the Ministry of Justice revealed that he has given orders to the Department of Corrections to find locations intended to help develop prisons and correction institutions by opening up to the tourists. There have been 11 prisons and correctional institutions chosen for each region of Thailand to become the first tourist destinations of its kind. These prisons and institutions will allow locals and foreign tourists to get an idea of what it's like inside a Thai prison. It will also help serve as a warning to people of what happens if you violate the law in Thailand. So don't break the law when you're in Thailand or you could be a prisoner looking at tourists looking at prisoners. 